Hi, welcome to Learn Instrumentation Engineering. Today we are going to learn about process signals and instrumentation control supply signals for uh, pump and motor systems. So what are the basic uh, process signals and uh, electrical signals which would be monitored and controlled by instrumentation would be discussed in this video in this youtube channel learn instrumentation engineering you will be learning basic fundamentals and concepts of field instruments and control systems a latest technical updates which is happening in and around globally in instrumentation and control systems so if you are an instrumentation engineer or instrumentation student or an expertise in the field of instrumentation do subscribe to our channel to gain more knowledge and I am pretty sure that I create more value addition to our knowledge. So let's get into this video. So this is basically a simple centrifugal pump and a motor. So for any pump there are two things that is suction and discharge. So we do have a suction pressure transmitter and a discharge pressure transmitter so these are the basic process signals that comes in a simple centrifugal compressor apart from that we do have a junction box that's a field junction box which is available in the field and then we do have a distributor control system panels where we would be having input output modules like analog input cord analog output cord digital input cord digital output cord and other cords as well and then we have an electrical feeder so that would be uh, controlling the motor through the control supply signals from instrumentations so basically from the pump the analog input signals that is suction and discharge percent transmitters would get into this junction box from this junction box a multi-core cable would run to the ICS rack room and that gets into the input module in this case we connect it to a analog input module and already i have discussed a video on ics rack room panel layout uh, dc system cabinet panel marshalling panel power distribution panel in our earlier videos so please see that video to have a detailed loop flow of field to control room and now uh, we do have a uh, control supply signals that would be uh, having input and output between electrical feeder and a DCS panels. So we do have digital input signals that would be a run feedback, availability and local remote indications. So these are the basic digital input that would be running from electrical feeder to DCS panels. And next we do have digital output signals and those signals are start command, stop command and permissive signals to start the motor. So these are the basic control supply signals that would run between the DCS panel and the electrical feeder. And from this electrical feeder all these signals would be processed and the main power supply would be getting into this motor and that would drive this motor then that would uh, uh, make the pump to run and this is how a motor and pump would be centralizedly uh, measured and controlled by a DCS system. So this is a simple pump and motor control supply signals and process signals and to have a detailed complex pump and motor system would be uh, discussed in the next video series so if you like this video just hit the like button and share to our instrumentation community and if you want to watch such technical instrumentation videos do subscribe to our channel learn instrumentation engineering thank you